data merge has some pretty severe limitations. So to begin, let's look at a few ways to get around a couple of these limitations and make data merge stand on its ear. First up is the inline merge script from Azalto. And this uh, link to this script and every other resource I'm going to mention is in the uh, session notes for this session, so make sure you obtain those. Um, this script, uh, I believe Lori demoed this in her session, so I just want to mention it to make sure everybody knows about this because it's an important one. This script gets around a shortcoming of data merge where if I take this little document where I've got a single frame with some merge fields in it, and I've got this all set up with data merge. So I've already linked in the, the data source and things. If I were to run this through data merge and let it do its thing, uh, data merge would produce this. It makes one frame for each occurrence or each uh, record in the data. And that can work for certain kinds of projects, but it isn't great for something like this, like a simple directory or directory listing or something like that. So what the inline merge script does is lets you put all of the, the output for every record in a single frame. And it's just a simple script that uh, um, just uh, lives in your scripts panel like anything else. So it's uh, this one right here. So to run the script, I just double click on it, answer a few questions, and it creates this output. So you still set up things using merge fields and you set it up like you would use data merge, but then you run the script at the end. Another cool script I'd like to show you is called data merge to single records. Now what this is all about is imagine you've got a task like this where you need to output a whole bunch of Instagram graphics like this that uh, maybe they're, you know, this is for a conference and we want to uh, have the topic of the conference here and the presenter's name here and we want to output all of these as ready-made Instagram graphics so each one is a separate uh, ping or JPEG file so we can uh, upload them to Instagram e easily. And so, you know, Data Merge can output an InDesign file like this where each one is a separate page. That's great. And there is a way in Data Merge to actually output separate InDesign files. But we don't want separate InDesign files. We want to end up with separate pings or JPEGs. Furthermore, when, Inde when Data Merge does output separate InDesign files, it just names them sequentially with file name 1, file name 2, file name 3, file name 4. So it's really not very useful. But with this data merge to single record script, you can do exactly what, what we need to do. So let me show you how this works. Here's my data merge document. I've got all set up where I've uh, connected to the data source and pulled the field names in here, just like any other data merge. But rather than outputting it with the data merge capabilities, I go to my scripts panel and run the data merge to single record script. Now I'm using the free version which um, only lets you output to separate InDesign or PDF files. InDesign, uh, data merge to single records pro adds a capability to export to ping or JPEG. So just use your imagination. You have ping or JPEG options here and uh, it gives you a few more options for how you name the files also. But even the free version here is useful. So I'm going to tell it I want output to PDF. I'm going to choose high quality print for the uh, format. I'm going to tell it where to put the files. So um, let's see here, where are we? Put them in this merge result folder. And then to name each file, I'm going to tell it to use the first name followed by the last name. So I get to choose from any fields in my data to build a file name that will be useful for me. And in the interest of time, I'm just going to tell it to output the first 10 records and OK out of this. And if we go in and look at that folder, that merge results folder, sure enough, I've got 10 PDFs, each one named neatly with the person's first and last name, and each one is a single PDF all by itself. Um, so it turns out there are a number of data merge projects, it seems like, that people run into where they need to end up with separate files, one for each record instead of 
a single file with one page per record. And this script really helps you do that well. Um, the pro version is only 15 bucks, so it's uh, clearly worth it if you've got a project that requires that. Um, I also want to mention there is another script called Data Merge Export from Mars Premedia um, that does essentially the same thing, but it accomplishes it in a somewhat different way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.